Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about three powerful, effective essential oils for oily skin, acne prone and cystic skin. Summer is approaching. It's a fun season for outdoor activities. However, it could be a frustrating time if you have these skin conditions. The heat and humidity tend to make them worse. So here I am introducing to you three powerful essential oils. First is tea tree. Tea tree is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory, making it suitable for even people with skin conditions. Second is sweet orange. Sweet orange is an astringent and it helps control the sebum production. Third is lavender. This versatile oil is renowned for its heating and skin soothing capability. And this oil blends very well with any, almost any essential oil. Essential oils are highly concentrated and they are super powerful. In order to harness their therapeutic properties, they need to be diluted properly. Otherwise you will get negative skin reactions. So what is carry oil? Carry oil is um, seed or nut oil and it could be uh, aloe vera gel or unscented lotion. Hazelnut oil is a dry oil so it's suitable for um, these skin condition like oily skin, acne prone or cystic skin. As I mentioned earlier, essential oils are highly concentrated and they need to be diluted in a carrier oil so here, um, dilution is very important. You want to start with four to five drops of essential oils in a one ounce carrier oil. See how your skin reacts and gradually increase the essential oils to 16 drops. For spot treatment, use 24 to 32 drops. So in order to have an effective blend, we need to know how to formulate. In traditional Chinese medicine, each herbal formula has three components. Uh, one is a key herb, second is a supporting herb, and third is harmonizing herb. In essential oil formulation, the same principle applies. Key oil address, addresses the uh, main concern, and supporting oil addresses the secondary problem while harmonizing oil enhances both key and supporting oil and harmonize the uh, aroma of the blend, making it smell good. Take oily skin for example. Our main concern here is the sebum production. Sweet orange reduces the oil without stripping the moisture. And our secondary concern is acne breakout. So tea tree helps control the bacteria and prevents the acne breakout. Lavender is a skin soothing and heating, so it supports both tea tree and sweet orange and may also making the whole blend smells good. So here is the basic formula for all the skin. It's, we want to use two drops of sweet orange one drop of tea tree and one drop of lavender because the main problem here is the sebum production and sweet orange does just that so we want to use two drops of sweet orange. What you will do is here is a one ounce glass dropper bottle, bottle. so you want to put the essential oils here I have a lavender you want to put essential oils sweet orange and you know tea tree in here and after you add the essential oils you will add one ounce or you know add it up to here basically that was about one ounce up to here you don't want to go all the way here because once you put in the dropper then the level will rise up and you will overflow so you want to put it up to over here so here all the skin you can use hazelnut oil or aloe vera gel you know they all work very well and after that shake them really well you can put it in the refrigerator or you can leave it on you know um 
somewhere that that is not not in the bathroom for sure because bathroom is very humid and very warm so you want to leave it in the bedroom or you know as i just said in the refrigerator to keep it cool and you feel nice at night when you apply it you know it's very cool to your skin and if you are using a lotion what you can do is you know you weigh out the one ounce of lotion in the glass jar and then you add the essential oils to the lotion make sure you mix it really well um, it's best to use this type of skin serum at night and um, after you have cleaned your face and your face is still slightly damp and gently massage onto your face so now you learn the basic foundations or principles of how to effect how to make a effective blends for all your skin then I have a challenge for you I challenge you to make a blend for acne prone skin and another blend for cystic skin um, put it in the comment below and I'd love to see your creation and it will be great if you also could explain why you come up with that formulation if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and in my next video i'm going to introduce to you three essential oils for sensitive and mature skin so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to know when the new video comes out thank you and i'll see you in my next video